All right, YouTube. So, um, if you're like me, you either rent or own a a home or with a property, and most of the times um, you have a gravel uh, driveway, um, and then you have a bunch of weeds, clover, flowers, weeds, nasty, nasty weeds, as you saw in the first part of this uh, video, and they're annoying. They're ugly. They're hideous. You want your your driveway to look look pristine, uh, clean, professional. Um, and we all know that there's a weed killer that you buy, spray, poison. I won't name any names. Um, but uh, to kill these these the unwanted plants. Now, um, in, either you have pets or you have kids or you don't want to spend the money or uh, whatever, whatever else, um, I have chosen the route not to use those harmful chemicals on my gravel. Um, I, I tried using the uh, large quantities of uh, vinegar with some um, a cheap a dish soap and some water and a backpack a spray apparatus from Harper Har Freight. Um, and uh, that seemed to work. I mean, my entire yard smelled like vinegar for several weeks. Uh, but even with vinegar, with, all, with like all natural ways, even poison, that will take um, a few days to a week uh, minimum for to see results, to see, to see these plants, these weeds actually die. And then you're left with this dead plant um, that you still had to see. It could be brown, he'd be dead, it won't grow anymore. But it's still there. Um, I've I've resorted to um, picking the weeds up by hand. I mean, on you, you're you're on your knees and you're you, you're digging and it sucks. But then you're leaving with this mound of dirt when you pull it out. Like, look, what is that? So, then I saw a neighbor do this um, last year, and I have done it myself. And I'm going to show you the art of burning your weeds. Check it out. All right, so what I have here is a basic uh, propane tank that you would, let's move that a little bit, that you would uh, use to power your uh, barbecue. And then a, torch. Um, you can pick this up at Harbor Freight. Um, this is from my father who was a contractor. Used this for a uh, torch down roofing. Um, a crescent wrench to connect the hose to the tank and then your long barbecue lighter. So let's get this started. The end of the um, hose we have a little um, piece of metal in our hose to protect the threads because this is brass and, it's, and, and, and that's very very um, soft metal so you don't want to dent this so we protect it with the little rubber hose now with the inside threads of the barbecue they're a backwards thread when most of the new ones um, have this um, I got a bunch of free propane tanks um, from a neighbor and then I had two of my own and I exchanged them for new propane tanks that are refilled to get new ones um, at the local store you can find little cages of those tanks and then I go to the local co-op and get my tanks um, filled which is a fraction of the price so that's how this is cost effective in my opinion so put this bad boy on Pen tight to a certain point. Then get your make sure the knob is uh, closed. Get your wrench out and finish it.
All right, so this is snug. What we should do is get a, a spray bottle of water and soap, mix it up, and spray here in the handle and the outlet to make sure that nothing is leaking. Um, I find that to be uh, uh, cumbersome. So what I'm going to do before we start is I'm going to place the tank far away from where I'm burning, which is why it's nice to have this long hose here. So that way, in case there's a leak from the propane tank to where you're burning, there's no, it's not going to burn or going to blow up. Um, another thing I want to point out is when I'm doing this, I have ear protection, eye protection, and I'm wearing uh, long sleeves, my nice uh, work boots, um, and a hat. Um, because we're, we're putting a hot flame on, on gravel, if you're in one spot for a length of time heating it up, it, um, the rocks will pop um, at you. So it's nice to have um, those uh, safety items on you. Um, for example, I'll be wearing these glasses and sometimes I'll wear these, uh, headphone, uh, these uh, headphones here. I have my headphones here for my music. That's just enough because um, as you'll, you'll see, the flame with the flamethrower, the torch, is uh, quite loud. So um, let's get this thing uh, started. All right, so I have my tank. We're going to go from close to open. And here, turn on. Have regulator set to always open. Bring my gloves and my lighter. All the lines so it's far away. And I have my torch laying on the ground up like this. You don't want to ruin the end. So let me set you up over here so you can see what's going on. And we'll get this party started. So the handle here, we have a little knob, at least on this one. There's a knob right here. You turn this, and you hear the floor come out. So you want to do this a little bit at a time, light it, um, and then you're good to go. Uh, sometimes what you have is, um, at Harper Freight ones, they have a button. Light it here. I don't have that button. So I'm using a lighter to light it. It's also good with your lighter to make sure that it's working. Most of the time, all right. So, try it out. Turns on a little bit. Can you hear it? No on. Now the flame will start um, to be short like this, and then you turn on the handle, the gun part, and then it will be on. There we go. You ready? <coughs> As you can see, we went from having clover and some weeds to now nothing. This is awesome just to burn it, get it done, 
uh, in theory that the flame will burn the uh, the roots um, and uh, then they're gone for good until next time now you may have noticed that sometimes my flame goes out and I have to relight it um, I attribute that is I am pressing too hard on the trigger letting out too much gas and then the flame will be just too much um, and then it goes out so I just relight it so I have my my lighter in my hand at all times to relight it real quick so I don't have to adjust this to turn off the gas flow because that's ongoing um, so yeah let's keep going <sighs> So um, it's it's gorgeous. It's all nice. Uh, I mean, there's no weeds. There's no waiting for around for weed killer to do its thing or whatever else. Is, it goes from being a weed to to gone. Um, notice that that weed over there. That's kind of more more hardy weed and near the bricks. I came back to that several times. I found that you can't heat up these rocks too long, even though the weed is not quite dead yet or went from green to brown to dead to gone if you heat them up too 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 much too fast they'll start popping at you so you have to kind of heat it up go away a little bit do the other areas come back to it and then stop it go back and again again and again until it's gone um, or you're gonna have rocks popping in your face um, the clover seems to go away pretty fast the hardy plants take a long time to get through another thing is is as you probably saw me um, this this ground now is, is heated like you can feel the heat from the the torch now, and you don't want your hose that you're using from your tank to your your, your torch to, to lay on that ground so constantly being aware of um, where you have um, uh, burned and where your your hose is relation to where you're burning uh, not to get that hose um, hot melted um, or that could create um, a crack or melt through the hose, and then you have a big, a big problem on your hands there. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's keep going. So obviously I don't want to take you through the entire uh, process of burning weeds, but as, as you can see, it looks 100% better um, than what it did before. Sometimes you see over there that weed there is 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 more robust than the clover and the small weed. That that it may take a few times to hit it again and again and again, have it die, or you kick it in, out of its of its roots or you pick it up by hand afterwards when, when the ground cools um, another thing is you can tell this is a uh, lengthy process it's 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 tedious um, and it's loud um, my neighbors can hear me for several houses over and it sounds like a jet engine um, that's in my house I already did to do uh, take off so it, it obnoxious so make sure that um, you're you are you are mindful of uh, city and local laws in terms of uh, noise 
uh, times to not not be too loud too early or too late um, what I have found is um, it takes about an hour to go through about half a tank of uh, propane um, at that point and I can do a big area like this um, to be a totally uh, a dead and gone uh, but that point when the tank gets about half um, empty or half full the pressure of the gas is um, it has reduced enough where it's not efficient to burn with a torch to where I just stop what I'm doing and that's my day to, to burn um, um, or I will uh, to take off the old tank and put on a new tank that's full and then go for another hour or so um, in terms of being cost effective um, to to have multiple tanks and refill them is cheaper like I filled up five of my tanks that were each about half full for like 25 bucks whereas if you go to exchange a tank it's gonna be 20 bucks so you, I mean, you do the math it's cost effective um, time wise it does take a long time but then it's it's gone it's done it's about having to spray with 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 poison again and again and again um, what else can I share with you? Don't get too near to the house or the plants. As you can see, I got too close to my fence and got it a little brown. I burnt some of my wife's lavender. And she's not going to be too happy with me burning her lavender. But it did smell good for a second. Um, and so I think that's pretty much it. Um, if there's anything else I can think of, I will add it in the... Um, description or make another quick video any other tips or tricks um again i was using gloves too during the whole time uh, just be safe with this um, make sure there's no dog or kids around when you're doing it and um yeah hope this is helpful um if you have any questions or comments or ideas please in the comments if you like what you saw just now consider to subscribe to the video channel and with any ideas, perhaps, of anything else, else that you would like me to uh, show you. Thanks, folks. Cheers.